We are in a high transmission situation, so if there are symptoms that look like COVID and you test negative, you assume that you have COVID and take all precautions, make sure you measure your oxygen levels. Uh, I mean, in, in many people, there is a loss of uh, either taste or smell or both. Uh, in, even in case of a negative test, if these symptoms appear, then you definitely have COVID. Uh, so just don't rely on the PCR test alone. Uh, symptomatic, uh, uh, look at symptoms also. And in this, uh, in this wave, uh, a lot of uh, upset stomach is seen, low grade fever is seen, some cases you also have eye problems, conjunctivitis. So many of these are coming up as alternative symptoms. Normally it would not make any difference, but since we are in a high transmission COVID situation, where by the government's own uh, you know, data, roughly one every of every 5% tested comes positive. That's 20%, roughly 20% positive. That's a very high transmission rate. Uh, we assume that we have to. One is that in the huge volume of tests that are being done, uh, people who are not very conversant in collecting samples are made to collect samples. So it's really faulty sample collection that is possibly leading to some. Uh, the other could be that the sector has really been open to all sorts of players and there is really very little quality control. So it could be bad reagents as well. Well, the swab has to go at the back of the nasal cavity. And if it doesn't go all the way back, then there is a less likelihood that it will pick up something. Also, the way uh, swabs are stored before they go to the lab for testing. So there are many factors. I mean, PCR by itself is a very sensitive and very good test, but most of the time it fails because sample collection is impossible. No, I don't believe that is the reason. New mutations are, are not in regions, not in genes that uh, are part of the PCR test. So yes, uh, if there are new mutations coming up in regions where the PCR is directed, yes, the, the, the reagents can be changed. There is a, there's a particular reagent called a primer which can be changed. But I don't believe in this case that is what is happening.